Hi, in this video I would like to show you how to adjust SBB straps. Before we start, I would like to explain how SBB works. When you wear SBB, your body pulls on the straps and as you change from good posture to bad, this tension increases. The SBB is able to detect this change and when this tension increases over a certain level, the device vibrates. Please understand, for this system to work, there must be a continuous tension on the straps at all times. This way, when you change to a bad posture, there is a measurable increase in tension. Now you know how it works, let's start with putting SBB on. First, don't forget to turn the device on. It should vibrate only once. If it doesn't vibrate or vibrate six times, you need to charge it. Next, you need to loosen the bottom belts using the adjustment buckle. Then it will be easier for you to slide one hand and then the other into the hoops. Make sure that you tighten them equally on both left and right. So the main SBB unit remains in the middle of your back. Yes, during this process the pad underneath the belt may bunch up or twist. For your own comfort, don't forget to straighten it. On your smartphone, please install the Smart Back Brace app. It is available for both iPhone and Android. Once you have it installed, turn on the Bluetooth and start the app. It will automatically find and connect to your SBB. Then you will see the information screen, which explains how to use the app. You may swipe to the left to start your session. First, you will need to set up good posture tension. At the bottom of the screen, you see the dial. This dial displays the current tension on the straps. As I have explained in the beginning of this video, you must tighten the straps in such a way that there is a noticeable tension when you are in your good posture. To capture this good posture tension, push the capture button and you will see the green arrow on the dial. Now you may swipe to the left to go to the next step. On this screen, you capture the bad posture tension. Please change your shoulders to the point where you think you need a warning. As you do this, the tension should increase and you should see it increase on the dial. For best results, the bigger the difference between good posture and bad posture tension, the easier it is for SBB to detect it. When you are sure that the bad posture tension is correct, push the capture button to record this level. You will see the red triangle appear on the dial. Push done to start your session. Now every time the tension goes above your captured bed posture level and stays above it for 5 seconds, the SBB will vibrate. Now let's troubleshoot some issues. The most regular complaint I hear is that when it's in use, SBB displays some random readings or that the dial arrow is jumping all over the place. This could be caused by three different issues. First and the most common is that your straps are too loose. Again, to work properly, SBB needs continuous tension. To fix this problem, just tighten the straps. Second, it could be that your app settings are wrong. You have an option to change how sensitive the tension detector is. To change the sensitivity, push the settings button on top of the screen. You may slide the sensitivity slider to make it less or more sensitive. For example, to make it less jumpy, you need to decrease the sensitivity. This way you will react less when the change happens. Third issue is that your device may need to be recalibrated. This is an easy procedure. Just take it off, lay it flat on the table while it's still on and then push the calibrate no strain button. This resets the baseline tension within the device. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to contact us on the website www.smartbackbrace.com Thank you.